Triangulation in Research Welcome to the research world and this video tutorial. We will discuss definition of the triangulation, purpose of triangulation, examples, and the types of the triangulation in research. So, let's begin. Triangulation in research involves implying multiple data sets, methodologies, theories, and our investigators to explore a research question. Triangulation in research involves applying multiple research methods and viewpoints to examine a specific topic. Purpose of the triangulation enhances the credibility and validity of research findings. Credibility pertains to the trustworthiness of a study, while validity assesses how accurately it reflects the concepts being investigated by incorporating multiple theories, methods, and observers. Triangulation mitigates biases inherent in using a single method or observer. Example number one, multiple data sets. For example, Ali conducted a qualitative study intended to identify the influences of system on decision making in a healthcare institute. He collected the data from various participants. For example, the first group of participants were ambulance service staff. In next phase they collected data through document review. Thirdly, the data was collected from the digital sources. And lastly, the data was collected from the focus groups. Hence, the data was collected from the multiple participants, resulting in the creation of the multiple data sets. This was intended basically to give more and more accurate results, and not including only one type of the participants. Example number two mixed methodologies. This approach involves implying different methods to address the same research question. This is the most prevalent form of the triangulation, where researchers frequently integrate both qualitative and quantitative approaches within a single study. For example, a study conducted to study the impact of the social media on learning could use surveys to measure quantitative data on the student's learning attitude. At the same time, interviews or focus groups can give qualitative data on students' experiences and opinions regarding social media impact on the learning behavior. Types of triangulation There are four types of the triangulation used in research. First one is the data triangulation, that type of triangulation which involves more than one data set. The second type is methodological triangulation, which involves the usage of more than one methods for example, the qualitative and the quantitative methods. The third type of the triangulation is the theory triangulation, which involves implying of more than one theory in the research. And the last type of the triangulation is investigator triangulation. That type of triangulation in which more than one is to get investigator is involved is called the investigator term triangulation. Thank you for watching. Hopefully this video will help you in understanding the concept of triangulation and research.